Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tanisha if you're new here. Today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me. I was getting ready for my company's virtual summer party. Normally every year we have a party that is in person obviously, but this year is a little bit different. So we're doing it via Zoom. So I wanted to do my makeup, try some new products from the drugstore. I'm using all e.l.f. products. I wanted to do a really glowy, pretty summer look. So if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, everything will be down below, all of the products that I use if you guys want to uh, try it out. We're gonna be doing makeup, hair, and outfits. So keep watching if you want to see the entire look. All right guys, what is up? Doing a little get ready with me. Hope you don't mind my scarf. I am laying down my hair right now. So that's why I look kind of crazy. I don't have my outfit on yet, but I'm gonna show you guys hair, makeup, outfit, all of that. Like I said, I'm using all new products from e.l.f. I wanted to give you guys kind of like a drugstore makeup tutorial. Definitely don't need high-end products to get a really pretty makeup look. I wanted to show you guys how to achieve a summer look with affordable products. First things first, eyebrows. Stint lift brow pencil from e.l.f. We're gonna do some makeup. I'm gonna answer some of your questions and we're just gonna chat. I'm getting ready for my company's virtual summer party. It's gonna be like via Zoom and it's gonna be like over a hundred people all on Zoom. They actually are expensing $40 worth of alcohol for us because we usually have it at like a country club, like endless booze, but because we can't have that, they're expensing some drinks and they're gonna have a mixologist on Zoom teaching us how to make different cocktails, which should be super exciting. So most people that I work with literally just bought like tequila or a whole bottle of something as opposed to like buying the lime, buying the agave, like all the ingredients that you would need. So I feel like most people are just gonna be, you know, drinking and just having fun as opposed to actually making the drinks, which is kind of what I did too. I just bought a huge handle of tequila because I have most of the ingredients already. You guys know that girl loves a good cocktail. I'm just gonna do margaritas. Pre-gamed a little too hard last night and I woke up with a little bit of a hangover which I don't know why I'm waking up with hangovers now. Like I only had two drinks and I was like hurting. Am I getting old? This is kind of like scary. My brows are all done. I went ahead and cleaned them up with some concealer. Oh, I have a guest. Ooh, yum, thank you. Mmm. I'm gonna try to eat and do makeup at the same time. It's gonna be tough. I used the 16 hour camo concealer. I'm in the shade Deep Olive and I use that to clean up my eyebrows. And I'm also gonna use it as a base for my eyeshadow and then obviously concealer. You guys know that I love using the same product for multiple things. You really don't need an eye primer. A concealer. I really don't need a separate product for each thing. I love saving money that way. You get one product that you can use multiple ways. So I'm gonna clean that up a bit. So I just applied that on my lid. New setting powder that I got. So it's the Halo Glow setting powder. Die Hard tried and true fan of the Laura Mercier setting powder. So I am definitely curious to see if this will live up to it. I literally don't stray from that powder so let's see how this goes find that set the concealer that we applied i feel like the laura mercier powder is definitely still a favorite but nice to know that there is a nice affordable option at the drugstore so i picked up two elf palettes i think these are really cute simple and have the exact colors that you would need so we're doing a little bit of a summary look so i picked up this one in pumpkin pie so this one is like all of the brown neutral shades and then this one is in berry bad i want to do like a bronzy look so i think i'm gonna go with pumpkin pie i'm gonna go in with this shade here very light i want to do a very like light not too extra, just kind of bronzy but glowy eye look. Answer some of your guys' questions. I am totally gonna butcher this name. I'm so sorry. Adabisi? Ad Adabisi? I'm not sure, but I do recognize your name and you always comment. So thank you for 
always commenting on my videos but she asked what advice would you give to your younger self slash anyone in their early 20s I still am in my early 20s so I'm still figuring everything out just like you guys but hmm, I was trying to think of my response to this question I would really say do what you love but make sure that you have just like a security blanket and backup plan and by this I mean more recently and just these times that we live in everyone wants to either do social media or do YouTube or anything that is not the typical career path so you're not going to school or basically like a career that you can't really get by going to college and that could be starting your own business or whatever first part of this is do what you love so I remember going to college wanting to be a pediatrician so I'm Haitian right so my mom came to this country I'm going in with this shade here my mom came to this country obviously for a better life for her kids and for herself but she didn't go to college she didn't do any of that so she wanted us to have everything that she didn't and to her like lawyers doctors those are the careers that basically like signify success to most foreign parents they don't know anything else so I obviously when I was going to college and I went to UCLA I wanted to make her proud and almost get her validation so I always knew that I wanted to be a pediatrician because I was I always love kids I still love kids but I for the most part did it because I wanted to impress my mom I quickly realized after taking chem that you know the doctor life is not for me it was something that I was not good at at all and I just like did not find joy or any type of stimulation from it it was really just like this is not the life I want to live. I don't want to like start my life at 30 because you have to do like eight years of school, residency, all that stuff. And I was like, this is not what I want. So I think that really set me back because I had to like figure it out almost in college and my grades suffered. I almost lost my scholarship. So there were a lot of like factors. Not that I'm saying that that was the culprit of everything like obviously there's other things but I think if I knew that I would have support in doing what I wanted and that I didn't have to do the typical career I probably would have not been in that situation so definitely don't feel pressured to have a job or career that your parents want you to have or that society wants you to have definitely find something that you love but I think with that comes responsibility and you may have to do a job that you don't really love or you may have to have a regular nine to five and have that to sustain yourself and pay your bills while you work on your side hustle don't think that you're just not going to go to school or not going to have a job and you're just going to work on what you want to do right away because you still have bills to pay you still have everything and i think it's so commendable of people that have side hustles and have things that they're working on while still making money because your nine to five job is gonna help you pay for your business you know like it's gonna help you it's not gonna hurt and when you feel like you can really take the plunge and focus on what you really want to do full time then do that but definitely don't just quit don't just think that you're gonna be riding on your parents coattails and you know not doing anything definitely have a job pay your bills but work for what you love and don't let anyone sway what you actually want to do find your passion try a bunch of different things fail you know it's okay to fail we learn it's okay to have a job that you don't like it's not forever yeah that's my advice i think it's very fitting doing that now not that i don't love my job i absolutely love it but as of recently i've just felt that i am not the type of personality where i want to work a nine to five job for the rest of my life see that for myself i don't see myself having a boss forever i see myself as my own boss one day although that i see that for myself it doesn't mean that i'm gonna quit my job i'm not gonna quit a good thing to be my own boss because i know i need to pay bills i have loans I have responsibilities outside of just what i want to do for the rest of my life you know it's just being smart about those choices moving on to face i feel like i'm being very slow so i'm gonna try misting in between each step this is the illuminating mist and set this is supposed to give you a little bit more of a glowy look i may add a little bit more like i said i want it to be very natural looking i'm gonna use this foundation i'm pretty impressed with elf's 
like range of foundation for the drugstore. They have a lot of shades compared to other higher end brands that don't even have the shade range. Very impressed that e.l.f. has a wide range of shades. I am in Nutmeg. We're gonna try this little like beauty blender that they also have. I like that it has the round edge for the face and then it has this flat edge for, you know, getting in there with concealer. My little blender is all wet. It got way bigger, which is what you want. I'm just gonna do one pump. I want a very glowy, natural look, so I don't wanna put on too too much foundation, but we do have some dark spots that we do need to cover. So far, the shade looks like it matches, and it doesn't look too heavy, which I really like. Using a beauty blender really helps with a more natural look because the beauty blender is gonna absorb most of the product. Sometimes can be annoying, but if you're going for a more natural look, you kind of want that because you want it to be like your skin, but better. Let's answer another question. Abby asks, have you tried anything from the skincare brand Inky List? If so, what are your thoughts? If not, what would you consider buying? Funny you say this, I actually didn't use a primer and if you notice that, it's because I like to use my skincare as primer. As no, I'm sure most of you have found me from my Ordinary videos. I absolutely love The Ordinary and The Inky List, if you haven't heard of them, I'm gonna use a little bit more, is another really affordable brand that they also sell at Sephora. Their products are around kind of the same price point as The Ordinary, which is amazing. I always say that skincare should be accessible and affordable. You don't have to spend a lot of money in skincare to get really nice skin. And I like that The Inky is around the same price point. I would try their vitamin C products. I absolutely love incorporating vitamin C into my routine. It's really important for me to incorporate products that are gonna lighten up my dark spots and hyperpigmentation. What else? Hyaluronic acid, a great staple product, and that's something that I would be a little bit more open to trying because I feel like you can't really mess it up. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like hyaluronic acid is pretty you know, standard, so I'd be interested to see if theirs is a little bit better than the ordinary, and if it is, that'd be awesome to find a new product. If you want me to try the Inky List, let me know down below. I can do a video on it, or I can try some of their products and let you guys know my thoughts. I've personally never tried them yet, but if you guys want to see my thoughts, let me know and I will do a video. As you can see, I'm going back in and doing more layers, cover up my dark spots. So that is one thing you're gonna have to apply a little bit more product. But the thing is, it's not cakey. It feels very lightweight still. Like I've gone in about two to three times and I still feel like my face is not too heavy, doesn't feel too clogged. So I really like this. I'm gonna go in, do some concealer and I'm gonna do that underneath my eye. It's kind of bright, but I like a bright concealer. I'm gonna define the eyeshadow, clean it up a bit. And then I do like a little arrow on my forehead and then a line down the middle. I'm gonna let the under eye sit a little bit. I've learned this trick from, is it Jackie Ina? I'm not sure who I saw do this, but if you let your concealer sit a little bit, it gets a little bit like dry and it, I don't know, it just gives more of a flawless finish. Highly recommend if you guys haven't done that. Okay, the concealer blends out super easily to blot like this, kind of like lightly tap it. If you're like poking a bear, but you don't, you know, want to get bit, you're just like boop, just like really quickly. Now we're gonna blend out the concealer. Sorry, I'm cheating a little bit, but I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my concealer. That is like one thing that I don't mess with. I do like the e.l.f. Um, translucent powder, but I just find the Laura Mercier is the best one that I've ever used, and my concealer just doesn't crease, so I just don't like to mess with a good thing. If it broke, don't fix it, right? Is that the quote? I'm just setting everywhere that I applied concealer. We don't want to be too oily, and we don't want it to move. Let's see, what else do you guys want to know? Another question is, how much does the average intern make in California for social media management and how quickly can they get to a 55 to 60K salary after an internship? If you guys don't know, I work in social media and marketing for an advertising agency. I manage all of our clients' social media 
digital media, branded content, events, all of that stuff. So that's what I do for my job. Um, let me like do makeup and talk. All right, quickly, again, cheating. This is the best contour palette that I've ever used from the drugstore. It's black radiance and it's actually meant for darker skin and I just use this middle one. I didn't find a shade from e.l.f. that would fit my skin tone the best, so I'm just gonna stick with what I love and I'm just gonna apply that in my contour area. So yeah, that's what I did for work. My internships I did, I think about maybe two or three internships in college, not get paid for them. Last internship that I did, I actually worked for a licensing company and basically what licensing is, let's say if Disney makes a movie on Frozen, they'll basically work with a toy company or a toy manufacturing company to create toys. So they license out Frozen or that brand to the manufacturing company who makes the toys so that they can you know make toys legally so i obviously wanted to do that because it is a part of marketing especially if you are looking to start a brand i think learning about you know licensing your brand and your likeliness is something good to know about so i didn't get paid for that internship but they did take us to vegas for this licensing show that they have every year they play they paid for our flight, gave us money for food, a free trip to Vegas basically, and if you didn't spend the money, you could keep it. So that was basically the payment, um, but we didn't get paid. So I think it's really important to set your expectation that most internships aren't gonna pay you. If you find an internship where they do, really jump on it, It's you're not gonna make that much money, like really, you're really not. Definitely don't expect to get paid. Interns should get paid, even if it's like minimum wage, but it's also okay to do an unpaid internship if you're getting credit, which is what I did for school. And I got the experience, which I could put on my resume. My direct supervisor also wrote me a letter of recommendation for the job that I have now, like a glowing recommendation. So there's definitely things that you can get out of an unpaid internship. You just have to be smart about it. And in terms of getting up to a 55 to 60K salary, I was really surprised when I got my first job about how much how little you actually get paid you have some experience that is great and dandy that's really good for you to have you know insight into the field that you want to get into uh, unless you have experience like actually in the real world like in that field they really don't care <laughs> like you are gonna start from the bottom you should just get used to that because you know it is what it is like you really don't have experience in that field doing that thing so you really have to start from the bottom and work your way up I think 60k is definitely a little ambitious when it comes to your first job and your first salary I don't think you should expect to make 60k if you do girl sign that offer letter immediately because that is a great entry-level job but entry level with experience with from internships just really expect to make not that much work really hard and then you can get promoted you can get raises move to a different company after a year or something like that even if you go to like an amazing college you're everyone starts from the bottom is basically the short answer gotta pay your dues i just set my um contour as you guys saw now i'm gonna do some blush i have been obsessed with blush lately so i picked this one up from elf i don't know the exact name but i will have like i said everything is down below and it gives like just like a mauvey little touch i don't like too much blush i like a little bit especially on the cheeks i don't know it just makes you feel and look like young fresh so i've been loving adding this back into my makeup routine i forgot that i was doing a whole like spray in between thing oops going in with this highlighter from also from elf i just thought it looked really pretty it's less pigmented more like glowy so i kind of want to try this not only on Ooh. oh yeah that added a, oh yeah this is what i was going for this just like do you see how it made like my eyeshadow pop even more yeah 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 Ooh. yeah that is definitely the vibe it's a very like pretty muted highlight look which is not bad i feel like i kind of go overboard sometimes with highlights so maybe this will tame me down a bit i'm gonna put a little bit of the fenty i'm cheating sorry i just love this stuff and it's really pigmented i feel like the elf is a little bit more of a topper so i'm gonna try to there we go yeah build with this and then top it off with the elf 
And then I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose. It's like to highlight this area. Just brings the contour together. Did I even contour my nose? No, I didn't. That's the step we definitely need. I'm cheating once again, guys, I'm sorry. There are certain products that I just, I don't stray from. Using the Fenty Match Stick. Back in with this palette is that same shade that I used on the top right underneath my eye on my lower lash line. I feel like this brings the entire look together. Just ties everything in and what I do is I always just connect it at the end. Kind of just like draw your eye up so your eye is like like that. Take off that contour in the bottom. And use some mascara. This one is the eye enhancing mascara. Again from e.l.f. Hold on, I have a work call. Hey. Hi T, really quick question. Still technically on the clock, so I had to answer that call, but I'm basically going in with this mascara. So that is what the wand looks like. So it has more volume on the end and then skinnier in the middle. There's the difference. Mascara, no mascara. I like to do just more of like a natural mascara look, but I really like to make sure the bottom is coated so it kind of looks like I have eyeliner, but it's more like in my tight line. So sometimes I'll just like poke, poke, poke. Okay, so I really only like to do mascara on the top, so I'm gonna leave the bottom alone. I feel like it makes you look younger and just more fresh. Um, I got some on my eyelids, so I'm just waiting for that to dry and then you literally take a q-tip and just Wipe it off. So what else what else? I think I'm gonna spray one more time and then go in with a little bit more highlight I am cheating one more time you guys know this is my ride or die the Kylie lip liner <laughs> I blanked for a second Kylie lip liner in brown sugar Literally, no other lip liner has measured up to this. This is my absolute favorite, my go-to, sold out of this. So I want to find good dupes of this, but it's taking a little bit longer. So once I find dupes, I will definitely do a video on it. But go in. I only wear lip liner. So anytime you see me wearing a nude lip, it is this and it's only this. I just, I love it so much. It's the perfect brown it's like your lips but better no i just haven't been able to find something that's even close she really snapped on this one but i'm upset that sh she hasn't released another one it's so annoying hey girl make more lip liners i think i may do a gloss just because they're doing a whole like glowy look i feel like a gloss would look really good at this highly again in so cute I'm obsessed with these lip glosses Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I think we're done. Are we done? I think we're done. What else am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. One last spray. All right, here is the finished look. I am going to get my hair ready and then we will pick out an outfit. Okay, so here is my outfit, what I decided to wear. Obviously this is virtual, so the bottom half won't be showing. I know I have a lot less clothes that I would normally have if I was going to work, but it's a summer party, so why not? Um, hair's just up, normal. You guys know I always wear my hair back. It's just the easiest, looking very glowy. I may like, you know, pass a little brush on that. I feel like I'm too glowy. Necklaces, everything in terms of like jewelry will be linked down below. This top is from Pretty Little Thing. I got it, I think like a couple weeks ago it's so pretty it's like off the shoulder bardeau and it has long sleeves so it's just like a really pretty top i want to wear this to like a date night um but obviously we won't be going on a date night anytime soon so i decided to wear it for this it'll just be like like i said just the top half showing so i feel like it's fine it's just like you know a little sassy top the shorts are from dish um i absolutely love them they're long cover the butt and they're like a dark washed black color. And I don't have any shoes on or anything because I'm just literally gonna be sitting at my desk. So there's really no point, but that's the outfit. Entire outfit will be down below in the description box. 
I am going to make a drink and get started. Start putting alcohol in their belt. Uh, I know you're not going to be driving right now, but I still want you to stay. 